So guys, we got this uh, 2004 Toyota Corolla, and they said that it doesn't crank or start. You put the key in, we have no check engine light, nothing. I tried doing a fault scan, you'll see it, it'll just fail. We'll let that scan. Um, they check, They said they checked the connection at the ECU. They said there's no power to the, I guess the red wire in the ECU. I don't know what the red wire is. So I guess we'll check some fuses, see what's missing, see if there's anything missing. And I uh, guess we'll go from there. So I guess we'll go underneath the dash real quick and we'll check. Uh, let's see, here's our fuse diagram. Let's go under here and see uh, what might be missing or whatever. Okay, so here's our fuses. Let's see, here's our diagram. Oops, let's go the other way. So, I guess they swapped the main relay or whatever. Ready, so let's see. Looks like this one's missing. Uh, PW, P slash W, don't know what that does. They said they checked all the fuses. Let's, see. let's go to the next row. I'm sorry, it's kind of blurry. We're really close here. So that one's supposed to be missing. And what's this other one? Okay, so it looks like rear wiper. It's probably a little hard to read because we're so close. Rear wiper. So this would not have rear wiper. Next row. INV. INV is missing. Don't know what INV is. Uh, I'm going to click look on a diagram, see if I can see what any of these are or where they go. Okay, so here's our diagram. Uh, I don't see INV, we're under power distribution. I do see a 30 amp for a main fuse. That's, uh, well, that's engine room. Uh, like I don't see this IMV. There's the OBD and that. Oh, there's a power fuse right there. It says in here, but there's also a 30 amp J case fuse under there. So I don't know if that's part of that. Uh, I don't see an IMV, so it might not be used. Uh, okay. So I guess we'll go underneath the hood and look underneath there. I have rear wipers. So let's go underneath the hood. Let's grab our flashlight. Uh, I popped the hood and just did a quick look under here earlier. I didn't really see anything obvious. Let's check our fuses here. Got, uh, are those spare? No, oh, headlamp. So headlamp, headlamp main, alternator, EFI. Oh, look at that, guys. Can't be that simple, can it? It says main fuse, 30 amp, should be right next to dome, 15 amp. And we got one, let's see if there's pins there. Oh, man. Grab a, let's flip these around. Look at that. Look at that. Is there any other ones on here? Looks like it fog lamps. Does this have fog lamps? Nope, we don't have fog lamps. Can't be that simple. Oh man, look at that. Check engine lights back. Nothing. Interesting, but we got our check engine light. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. So you can take the key out of the ignition while it's on. Hmm. So now we got a crank, no crank. Let's see if we can fault scan this. So now we can communicate with our ECU. Do a bad starter. Nothing on the ABS. Interesting. Do a bad starter. Uh... 
Look how rusty it is. Let's see, where's our starter at? Oh, the starter's right there. Oh, look how bad that starter is. Ooh, look at that lovely mess. Let me get a test light. We'll put a test light on that lovely mess right there. And, uh... We'll, uh, see if we can get this to test light to light up. If we do, then we'll bang on it. Put my probe in on the control wire right there. I don't know if it's in far enough, but then we got our test light connected to ground right here. So let's see if this starter. I don't see the light lighting. Maybe my probe ain't in far enough. Because the probe does light on this power feed right here. light lights so now we got to get this bottom one down here this control wire right, so I got that connected down there but it still ain't working you turn the key so I wonder if we got a bad relay or something too on top of this okay guys so we're gonna go to system wiring diagram we're gonna starting and charging then we'll look at our starting circuit the starter motor goes to the starter relay. It's behind left side of dash. So we're gonna go look at the starter relay if we can. Uh, what else feeds this relay? Goes to the starter cut relay behind upper left of dash, and then a junction connector. And this gets fed through the EM2 relay. And a 30 amp main fuse. Like could we, well we didn't blow our main fuse. Guess we'll check our relay. I got my connector down there, now watch. Still got it hooked up. I'm gonna turn the key. So all I'm doing is turn the key. So we got a bad starter guys. We have a bad starter. Cause if you look, I'm just probed into our wire there. I just moved the pin around. It's a lot easier to do this with two people because you got somebody uh, doing that or you pierce the wire. But I didn't feel like piercing the wire in this. So what we could probably do is put this on here. It's going to light my bulb. But we might be able to smack on this starter. 10 amps might be enough. I don't know if that's going to be enough to fire the starter or not. Um, we could try. Just bang on the starter real quick with the hammer. See if it will start. Uh, where's my hammer? There we go. Look at the light. So we have a bad starter, guys. We have a bad starter. I'm going to see if I can get this to start or not. Guys, I banged on the starter and look at that, it started it up. Shut this off, let's see if we can get it start again. There we go. So he has a bad starter. Bad starter. Crazy. Two problems. Two problems. So the bad starter probably happened. Don't get the starter to start. Swap the fuses around. Mix the fuses up. And there you go. So I hope you guys like it. See you later. I wanted to show you guys the codes. So let's do a fault scan real quick. Okay, maybe not. Oh, is my VCI disconnected? That's weird. There we go, let's do a report. Oh, squib open. So that's the uh, clock spring. So there you go. See you guys later.